Hello guys, how are you doing today? Now let's check out the 11 most important differences between Google Analytics 4 and Universal Analytics that you must know to work with it. Difference number one, events versus hit types. In Google Analytics 4, every hit type that you had known in Universal Analytics, for example, the hit type that is page views, that is transactions, that is social and all those, those hit types have been converted to events. Everything is an event in Google Analytics 4. So if you are running a page view, that's a page view event. You should remember this, right? If you are doing any sort of transaction, that's also an event. Difference number two, the event structure. In Universal Analytics, the event structure that we see includes category, action, label and value. The notion of this kind of a information gathering system is gone once and forever in GA4. In GA4, you will be using something called parameters. Parameters are a set of name value pair where you can pass in name value pairs along with your events. So rather than passing a category, you pass a name value pair over there rather than passing a value, you pass a name value pair and so on, right? So the structure is much more open to your own customization, your own architecture and everything that you do, you can decide and customize yourself. Difference number three, and probably this is the most important difference. Google Analytics GA4 includes both the app and web for collecting data. So if you have a web application for let's say e-commerce and you also have an application that's mobile app for iOS or Android, you can collect the data in a combined fashion in GA4, which was not possible in Universal Analytics because Universal Analytics is a web only system. Most of the Google Analytics 4 users would agree that Google Analytics has moved their app plus web kind of a platform that they had created last time into GA4. It has got all the modern features that you would need for your modern business with modern analytics. Difference number four, the way sessions are calculated has changed in GA4. In Universal Analytics, the way sessions were calculated was when a user used to land on a page from that moment, the timestamp was taken and when a user used to leave the website till that moment, the timestamp was taken and the difference between those two timestamps were calculated as sessions. Now it has changed where in Google Analytics 4, you have got a session underscore start event that will be fired by Google Analytics automatically when they decide that the user has actually landed on the page. So it's completely automated. You don't have to care about when the user is landing and everything else. Google Analytics takes care of that and the session ends when the user exits the page. So you may see a difference between the session count and the session duration between your UA property and GA4 property. And that's due to this difference in the way the session is calculated now. Difference number five, the views that you were so accustomed to in Universal Analytics no longer exist. So all you have is your account and inside account, you'll find property inside Google Analytics 4. But there is also something that has been added to Google Analytics 4 and that is called data streams. As you remember that Google Analytics 4 has got multiple data sources that you can use such as your website, such as your mobile application. So all these sources of data becomes data stream in Google Analytics 4 that was not there in Universal Analytics. So now if you have to create multiple views, maybe that's not possible but definitely you have got multiple properties option that you can create and surely you can also have different data streams to get a lot more data about your business that you were previously not able to get. The data retention settings have changed earlier in Universal Analytics. You had an option to retain the data for so many different tiers from 24 months, 36 months, 12 months and indefinitely, right? All these options were there. 
but in GA4, you can retain the data for either two months or 14 months. That's the only option you have. Difference number seven, user ID views in Google Analytics, Universal Analytics have gone forever. You don't need to create a separate view to see your user ID data that you would have implemented. If you're not sure about what user ID data is, I have put the link below in the description. So check that out. But the main point over here is that in your existing property that you would have created for GA4, if you have got user ID implemented, you should be able to see your user ID data over there. That means you can create separate reports. You can use your user ID data as segments, as different configurations and comparisons that was not possible before in Universal Analytics. Difference number eight, the e-commerce reports that we knew as enhanced e-commerce in Universal Analytics has changed. It has become monetization reports in Google Analytics 4. The terminologies have changed as well. Here you get to see item type, item list and so on. Like you should see product list and you know products in Universal Analytics. So the terminology has changed. And if you are trying to collect the data behind the scene, you will find that you have to send a different kind of terminology. Also, the structure is slightly changed compared to what it was before. So you have to remember that when you are implementing your monetization reports or the e-commerce reports in a separate way for your own environment. Difference number nine, Google Analytics 4 has got a much better and robust debugging system. It has got a special debug view for developers and for implementers who can see how the data is arriving at the Google Analytics 4 reports and how it has been structured, whether all the details that have been sent from the website web page are getting collected in the right way or not. So this is a really big help for all the implementers who had huge problems before in understanding where things are going wrong. Difference number 10. The user engagement metrics have changed. Now, if you remember in Universal Analytics, you had options for this bounce rate and the session duration and all this that you would use to understand how your website is doing in terms of user engagement. Now you have got these engagement metrics in GA4 where the engagement is being decided by Google Analytics 4 automatically. They decide which sessions were the engaged sessions and where the users were more active and where they were not, where they were dropping off. So the bounce rate matrix is gone now and it has been replaced by engagement matrix. Difference number 11. Now this is one of the most powerful things that have been added to GA4. It has got these exploration reports now, which are very close to the reports that you could create in your data studio environment. But here you have got a lot more. It's very robust report creating system, which beats the universal analytics custom report system any day. It has got so many ways in which you can create reports that include these path reports where you can do a lot of customization. It also includes these funnel reports where you can do furthermore customizations that you were never able to do in universal analytics. You have also got the cohort analysis report, which can be customized a lot, which was more of a static report in universal analytics. And you have got these free form reports where you can drag and drop a lot of columns and a lot of rows and a lot of metrics to make your own custom reports and present it to your team, to your management. Bonus difference, Google Analytics 4 has got multiple types of events that's possible to be used now. The first category of events are automatically collected, which means that the session start event, the user engagement event, and there are a lot of such events, both for web application and mobile application that are now automatically collected and you don't have to worry about collecting it yourself. Next, there are these enhanced measurement events where you have to choose some setting to get these on. You don't have to write a single line of code for this, such as the page views, the scrolls, or even the site searches. All these are automatically done for you. All you have to do is you have to select a setting inside Google Analytics 4 and your job would be done over there. 
The third kind of event is the recommended events from Google Analytics 4, where they state that for particular industries or particular types of environment, what kind of events would be ideal to write. And they would also give you a template for that. You can check out these links in the description. So you can also use these events for your own industry or for your own setup. The template has been laid out for you. The fourth kind of events is the custom event. That's the plain old event that we used to have in universal analytics, but with more power over here, because as we said, the parameters have really changed the game for Google analytics events. So in custom events, you can create your own events with own definitions and you can implement that for your own environment. So those were the differences that are the most important ones in Google Analytics 4 and Universal Analytics that you should know to become a better analytics professional. Thank you.